Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We wondered how EA was going to make this Trophy Titans promo fun for everybody on all budgets, and they've figured out how to do that by making icons the most easily packable they have ever been. If you look at some of the store pack odds, and you just look at how much supply there is for these cards on the market, these Trophy Titans, including the Juniors, are so easy to pack that EA have kind of made this a pretty W promo because they're not that hard to pack, even though they are our icons so we'll look at that today of course that's affected the market big time i actually lost a lot of coins yesterday trying to be you know uh sneaky i guess trying to be risky and trade with these cards day one i think the supply is going to push their card prices down even further as it's already affected a lot of other icons on this market and other versions for those specific cards so we're going to take a look at that spc's objectives and what's going to happen today right we knew every day we were getting a daily for birthday spc what's going to happen during trophy titans we'll talk about that in potentially the fodder investment that looks pretty good right now if you're excited for the video today if it helps you at all drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new let's do a little content overview from a crazy friday right we did get the first ever icon in objectives this is a w in its own right dennis Bergkamp. it's not the best version for his card there is the 94 rated version that is of course on the market you can see all the icons with that little down arrow are technically junior cards they're called titan juniors uh so this card 93 rated is four star four star and this is the first ever icon available in objectives right you get the baby and the prime along the way which you kind of have to complete objectives with it's kind of like a um the academy objectives during the future stars promo uh but there's some nice fodder packs in here as well i think it's like 35 or 40 games that you have to do to get this bird camp it's not that bad, though, because you can do it in Foot Champions if you want to try to figure this out and do it all together. Uh, you have to, definitely have to change up your squad. But Squad Battles, Rivals, or Foot Champs, that's just cool, in my opinion, because it is all... Uh, available as the first icon ever in objective. So that's decent, right? If you want to grind it, you can definitely go ahead. Another big W of an SBC player as well. I've already started doing this SBC, and it kind of feels like if you did Gattuso, then maybe you're disappointed. Or if you did Conte, you're disappointed because we have another insane midfielder with Roy Keane. Three-star, four-star, medium-high, and a massive boost on his card. 83 pace. Uh, look at these insane defending and physical stats. 97 interceptions. 97 stand tackle 99 aggression people say this card is really really good in game uh flare passes swerve pass and flare trade w dynamic image such a really good price 400 000 coins for this roy Keane. i know that it doesn't really help your squad with chemistry and i know that's why people are kind of turned away from icons this year and doing icon player sbcs but absolutely incredible price for a w icon upgrade no complaints there from me and of course when since we had another icon released uh, look at some of the price drops that we have on some of these other midfielders. Uh, another midfielder release, right? Look at Zanetti. Zanetti's team of the icon card is 850k. He was 1.1 million coins, and that was down already from all the other midfielders that we had seen. Midfielders on this game are down bad once again, just because of another insane midfielder SBC. And then, of course, we have the cards that are in packs. The Trophy Titans promo team, which this is what we were all shocked by yesterday. There are some nice upgrades in here there really are roberto carlos plus one rio ferdinand plus one over his prime but look at some of these upgrades plus five dribbling two defense and three physical also two pace for his card a lot of the primes for these players that got trophy titans are down bad specifically philip lom like guys i thought i was you know hot stuff or something packing this 92 rated philip lom yesterday like right away from my 84 times 20 i got him and, him and landon donovan in the pack we tweeted it out but this guy's 140,000 coins, and I mean, this is the craziest part, right? This is a rating above Philip Lom's prime card. Philip Lom's prime yesterday was 400,000 coins, 420,000 coins, and now he is uh, 185, and this new version, the 92, is 143K. It is crazy, the pack weight on these icons, and I think the pack weight is so high specifically on the Lom, Del Piero, and Fernando Torres as these junior icons, right? Because if you go in the store, right, it even it kind of explains it right here what these junior icons are kind of about. Um, if you go into the store and take a look at the pack weight, 
It's crazy. I mean, the icons are so packable. A 70,000 coin pack gives you an 8.5% chance. These 86 plus star lightning rounds right now give you a 15% chance of packing a trophy Titans icon player. That's better than some of the pack percentages we see for regular promo teams like Foot Birthday. And these are icon cards. It's crazy uh, how affordable a lot of these cards are. Now, of course, the really cheap ones are not really higher rated. Like you look at the the very cheap, almost fodder price. Uh, this, you know, heading into Saturday today, Fernando Torres is already like fodder price. He's like 20,000 coins for this 86 rated card. And 86s are like, you know, 16, 17K on this game. He's 19K at the moment. Del Piero is 28,000 coins. It's crazy how cheap some of these cards are. And that really is what lost me a lot of coins yesterday, this pack weight, right? I was trying to trade with Bird Camp. Guys, I bought a Bird Camp at 890,000 coins. I bought another one at 700K. And this guy is 600,000 coins. He's They've just kept falling all day long. But if you look at the market and Look at these players. There's so many that are first owner and tradable. They just keep getting packed. It's ridiculous, right? It's crazy how much they're getting packed. Even guys like Fernando Torres. I mean, this is a huge upgrade for a Fernando Torres card uh, for the big one, right? Now, if you want to try to search for him, just put like a massive price range minimum here because it's weird, right? We have two cards that fall under the same kind of like card design, but uh, you kind of have to get kind of sneaky with it inside of the search to, to find the higher rated version for the couple of the cards that have the dual kind of release. But big upgrade for Fernando Torres, five-star weak foot, four-star skills, high medium, insane, insane stats, and it's just crazy, right? W, honestly, a W promo from EA. Obviously, if you packed an icon or a hero, you're super happy, uh, and we haven't even mentioned the heroes, uh, but Lucio and um, Mar Lucio and Yaya Toure, these guys are actually really expensive. There's only four heroes, which is a bit interesting. Now, a lot of questions have been like, Nate, is EA going to do a mini release? And to be completely honest, I have no idea if they're doing a mini release or not. We know we have a team two. Um, I guess it's possible. I will see. I wasn't expecting a mini release, but hey, who knows? We'll see what the leaks say and stuff like that uh, heading forward. It's weird having less heroes in packs, but there's two really cheap heroes with Lundberg and Donovan, and two really expensive ones with Lucio and Yaya Toure. Uh, but seriously, kind of just like this promo took us all by surprise with how much supply these cards have on the market. And uh, there's only Zidane, Fernando Torres, and Del Piero. There's only three icons that are over a million coins, uh, as a lot of the other ones have dropped underneath that now. It's kind of crazy to see that. But that really shook up the market yesterday on so many different cards and prices are down bad. I mean, think about Roberto Carlos, right? This is kind of crazy to see. A lot of your top left backs are down in price because this Roberto Carlos is just one that so many people want to try out with the boost that he has with the five-star skill move boost, right? He didn't get that big of a boost. He got like plus one pace shooting and passing. His dribbling defense and physical is unchanged from his prime, but a dynamic image and five-star skills has got everybody super excited to try a card like this out and like you know his card price affected team of the year teo hernandez who is undoubtedly a better right back but team of the year teo is down over a hundred thousand coins he's still 1.2 mil and showing no signs of bouncing back that's the other thing right a lot of these cards have dropped down in price and there's really not much that has brought them back up there was a lot of panic selling yesterday i bought a darwin nunez at 630,000 coins I was able to sell it at 680, but since then, I bought a five-star skill version, right? Since then, look what he is right now. He's back down to 650,000 coins, right? There's been a lot of price that, is, that have dropped, some that have rebounded a little bit, but still a lot of cards that are very low. Even for the foot birthdays that just left packs, you know, you've got stuff going all different each ways. You got some of the high tier cards like Kaká down even lower. Eusebio still low. Maldini's up a little. Bruno Guimaraes was down. He, he's back up a little. Hummels though is up big, right? Werner is doing nice. He is up big. I think the Lom definitely helped out with that and those just being cheaper cards and not midfielders, right? Ganduzi as a midfielder is down because of the uh, Keen SBC that we had yesterday. We even looked at foot birthday team one look at Emerson, 105,000 coins, big drop off uh, from yesterday because I think people are maybe transitioning from this card as their right back. I really believe, guys, that a lot of people are using Lam as their right back. He is 
consistently the most viewed and most popular card up here at the top of Footbin. And Philip Lam is always really good in game. I packed this card, tried him out for a couple games, and he was really, really nice. He's explosive. He can play right or left back. He does have a three-star weak foot, so that does not help. But you put a shadow or a, or an anchor like I have on him, and he's still explosive. Very good card in game, pretty fast, and uh, he just feels really, really good. I think that, especially with the Bundesliga links and the German links that have kind of been, you know, popular in the past couple of days with, you know, other cards, besides Moynier being out, right? Uh, but with Hummels and with the uh, Werner that were released, I think that card's got some extra hype to it there, and a lot of people are using him. So you're just seeing the market, honestly. I think a lot of people lost coins yesterday. I know I'm speaking for myself being a big part of that. I'm sure there's plenty of people who made coins. I made a lot of coins yesterday in the morning. The market was very high. I got some really good sales. But everything after content yesterday with the 87 plus hero pick refreshing and the craziness of the Titans promo, I ended up losing a lot of coins. So we're going to try to make some of that back over the weekend. Now, one of the ways we might be able to make that back is because we do have uh, a couple of big things upcoming in the next few days. First thing that we have to talk about as I check this uh, Holland card, Holland's going out of packs today. Uh, this man of the match version, right? All those man of the matches are leaving packs today. First thing we have to talk about is again, some of these packs that were added to the code, specifically the big icon pack. It was finally added to the code via foot scoreboard. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, 90 plus prime icon team of the year or foot birthday icon. This is the big icon pack SBC that everybody's been talking about. Dropping probably tomorrow but potentially still today, there's so much hype for this SBC. And I think that is one thing that EA might be using to really try to, you know, drain coins out of people's clubs and accounts before we head into team of the season because we're not that far away. And I think that is going to be the theme over these next couple of weeks, trying to kind of deplete our clubs after we had a swaps promo and we've had some nice upgrade packs like the 80 plus times three a lot of objectives that give out upgrade packs and give out fodder i think this pack is coming either today or tomorrow but probably tomorrow and i think fodder has to be on our mind as an investing opportunity now i don't love fodder in all the different rating scenarios but i do like 83 is back down at 900 again get them on bid at um, 800, 850 coins, it's basically zero risk. 84s in the low 3,000 coin range, fantastic. 85s, love this one. I think, I think all these guys were just around 8.5. Try to get them at 8.5 on bid if you can. I think you might have to buy into fodder, guys. I think you might have to do it today on Saturday because with the hype of this 90 plus, if it does not drop today, we kind of expect it to drop tomorrow on Sunday anyway. Um, there's going to be a lot of people investing in fodder today if that is the case. Now, Content for today is also a big question, so we'll have to kind of keep that in mind. Would there be anything else dropped today that could make some fodder go lower? Doesn't look like there might be, like there will be. It's probably going to be a pretty quiet Saturday today on this game unless there's a surprise from EA. That's why I think these prices are good enough for me to get in on fodder. 86 is at 13K, look really good as well. 88s are 24, 25,000 coins. Okay, just some of the cheapest ones. 26K. Definitely try to pick up. I'm going to do this right now. Try to pick up a Tap Soba or any of these Man of the Match cards that are going out of packs because they are based, they're fodder, right? But they're fodder cards that are going out of packs. And if this guy is actually like 24,000 coins, I would love to pick one up. I believe that he is not. I think all fodder on the 88 side right now is actually about 26, 27K. Uh, where in the world is Tapsoba? over 28,000 coins. So 24 was definitely an undercut there. Uh, I'll even take 25. That sits. Yeah, it's going to get sniped up right away. So definitely keep an eye on some of these 88 rated cards. You can pick up some 88 rated informs as well if you would like to. 26, 25,000 coins for these is really, really good. 25 is amazing. 26 is okay. But you know, you know, you think about that SBC, right? That 90 plus icon. Uh, team of the year or foot birthday this is probably going to be in the range of like 500,000 coins maybe a bit above that unless ea really want to make things scary and make it a lot cheaper that to me means i think i would want to look at the 86 to 88 range on fodder which is really a fodder range right now that is not that overpriced the 89s and above we know they're expensive, right? 91s are about 83 to 84K, but they're coming down a bit because 92s are getting so cheap. 90s are still about 60,000 coins and 89s are about 40K. Try to stick to your 86s to 88s. And then if you think there's going to be the beginnings of some low tier market uh, demand as well, 
85s could be pretty good. I would look into investing in some of those as well. It's just going to depend on all the requirements that are going to come out for this. So I would do a club stock for sure. Go through this list and say, I'm going to buy a good chunk of 84s, good chunk of 85s. 86s, 87s, and 88s, and probably looking to sell this stuff maybe next Tuesday, next Wednesday, as we have more of the packs that are out that could make this stuff go up. And then we have a good potential to sell there. So I'm looking at a fodder investment here in the next, honestly, today on Saturday, maybe tomorrow on Sunday. If you want to go during squad battle rewards, that could be a good time to buy into fodder as well. It just kind of does depend on what comes today as Saturday content on this game. Now, some of the other things for Saturday content that we could potentially see, um, you know, th here's the 90 plus SBC. Once again, we just saw that in the uh, code. There's some other stuff that, in, that was added into the pack code that I think is interesting. And this to me smells like um, something along the lines of save it for a team of the season type of pack. Remember before earlier on where we had those player picks that were packs, right? There was like an 80 plus player pick that actually you could save it and, you know, not have it in your assigned because it was a pack. There's been a 75 plus player pick one of three and an 84 plus player pick one of three called a selector's pack. And it contains a player pick inside of it. I wonder if these are going to somehow work their way into content in the next couple of days as something that maybe we could save for, I guess, the next week of this Trophy Titans promo or maybe as far as team of the season. So that's something to look out for there as well. If you think an 84 plus player pick, that to me says they're going to require like an 83 rated squad for that. Maybe an inform, maybe an 84 rated squad um, or something along those lines. I could even see like an 80, two 85s and then an 84 rated squad, right? And then 85s would do good and 83s would potentially be good. So that could be a reason why you want to stock some low rated fodder here pretty soon as well. Don't know if those are going to come out like today or tomorrow or, or really soon, but that just smells like a pack they might have to stock up for a team of the season. Now, yesterday we also had an SBC for um, Goncalo Guedes, which is a really good value SBC. Uh, there's a lot of questions around how is this card going to get updated because one of the criteria was win first knockout match after campaign launch. Technically, Road to the Final, of course, was a long time ago. Uh, so will his first match after his SBC was dropped in the game count as his first win if they are able to win in that match? We'll see. Um, but, of course, the trade upgrade and a plus one overall is on the line for the advancing to the semifinals for this card. But in general, if you run a Liga NOS team or if you need any Liga NOS li links, this is a pretty nice card uh, for a really good price. 31,000 coins. It's basically the same as fodder if you craft it. So that's a W there. And we have a Brahim Diaz that has been the, the other leak for Road to the Final. We do not have an AC Milan player yet. Watch out for this SBC if it is true. Uh, I think this could be today. This might be our SBC today, and I think it could be a pretty slow day on this game. So I'm not necessarily saying you have to go out and look to invest in any like AC Milan links or anything like that. You, you would think about Benacer, of course, as a potential investment. He's really low. He's like 255, 256. Also, uh, I believe Milan played yesterday, which could play into the, his uh, upgrade, and Milan drew nil nil and there was a goal canceled in the 90th plus one wow okay so um that does not bode well for ben Acer and for the upgrades on this card of course um but if we do get that SBC for Brahim Diaz, that might help out some of those Milan links. And some of your Serie A links have been doing pretty nice. I've been talking about this Raspadori. It's kind of become jokes in the stream, like invest in Raspadori, whatever. I think people are starting to look at live cards like this as a potential investment this upcoming week for Champions League fixtures as well. And I think that's going to be where people try to turn on the market in the next couple of days to try to make some coins, honestly, um, besides the content and fodder you know making some prices go up in that side of the game i really do believe that people might look towards some uh those live cards to potentially make some coins in because those are kind of the next things uh to get upgraded and next things going on there are fantasy cards of course that have live games and stuff going on like today of course you've got a big game uh early on between uh or this weekend you've got a big game between arsenal and liverpool i think that game is actually on sunday if i'm correct uh, yeah, Arsenal, Liverpool, a lot of people are looking at that game. They think, you know, Diogo Jota, potential for an upgrade. Then, of course, you've got Saliba. But if Saliba's injured and not playing, then that hurts his card. So watch your road to the finals um, and watch your fantasy foot cards as well. And, guys, just to be completely honest, it just feels like the way that the market is right now, if we're going to have these big SBCs that come in, like the 90-plus um, icon pack and all that stuff, 
it just feels like we might be having a market that is going to be feeling very stuck and very just like sliding downwards in price, especially on a lot of the top tier budget as people want to try out these uh, brand new trophy titans. So I'm going to probably try to stay pretty liquid, but also try to make some coins and be careful with live cards as well, because, um, you know, when the time comes for a card to get upgraded, probably looking at next week on Tuesday or Wednesday, um, if you don't sell into the hype, some of those cards will probably drop off, especially if they're lower rated. Um, how much is Scrinny R? Because Scrinny R yesterday, um, he did not play 85,000 coins. Wow. He did not play, um, and they actually ended up drawing, I believe, in the 90th minute or something like that. Uh, yeah, Seller and Tina scored. Kandreva scored in the 90th minute. So no upgrade for Scrinny R for the win. You can tell that was definitely the reason why his price dropped off so much yesterday. He was 116K, went all the way to 84. Still some Serie A hype here, though, so he's kind of back up. But, you know, the market just kind of feels like it's rough going. You know, some other cards, though, are are doing pretty good. Like, usually we talk about Gold Mbappe as a really good kind of barometer for the rest of the market. Gold Mbappe is up. He was 500,000 coins the last couple of days. I believe he's like 520, 530K. And some of the cards are probably going to do, uh, have some good fluctuations. Some of the Trophy Titans will probably have some good fluctuations heading into today on Saturday. But as we always see on Saturdays with some, with these cards, I would expect them to go down in value. So we might try to trade with a few of them today, but I'm going to be pretty careful as well, especially since some of these guys have lo lost me some big coins. Probably going to try to sell Bird Camp on a bounce. And guys, when the supply in the store looks as... I don't even know how to describe it. Just when the pack odds look as high as they do for these crazy of players, people are getting excited because it's so easy to pack these icons. Um, and that's going to draw people to try to open packs, right? And that's going to make people want to spend some coins on packs, spend some money on packs. Uh, but really, what I would do is spend some money on fodder, get a club stock going, and uh, I think you'll be able to see some positive uh, coin balance improvements during the next couple of days with the SBCs that could be dropping on this game. So, kind of a crazy promo Friday yesterday because it was like, wow, EA actually made icons packable. This is crazy. They found a way to do it. Not saying that Del Piero, Fernando Torres, and Zidane are really easy to pack. They're not. But for a lot of those middle tier cards, some really cool cards to try out with some W dynamic images. And I'm a fan of this promo um, just because it's something different. And it kind of surprises from the fact that EA, GG, you did something that we thought was pretty hard to do. You made icons pretty packable and, and pretty cheap and you know affordable for most people on this game so again ggs the ea so hopefully they drop maybe another surprise today on saturday we'll have to see but saturdays are usually pretty quiet but watch out for those market drops in there because it's getting pretty, pretty crazy out there on this game so if you enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it has been nate the foot account i'll catch you guys tomorrow peace